Okay, we're live. We're live? We're live. I'm probably going to cut that, though, because... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is Cassie Thomas. All right, and this is Meg Chandler. Yep. Um, otherwise known as Chan. Or Channy. Or Channy. Or The Chan. Or The Chan. <laughs> and um, I sometimes am called Mama T. Mm-hmm. Um, we are teachers at Desert Christian High School. Yes, we are. Located in Tucson, Arizona. And um, this is our very first vlog, um, so we're pretty bad at it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but that's okay. We don't care because we embrace challenges and mm -hmm. embrace failure. We're yeah. good with that. But so, why are we doing this? Exactly. You might be wondering. Okay, why in the world are we doing this? Mm -hmm. Um... Well, we are doing this because we want to talk to our fellow teachers yeah. out there, our fellow instructors, our fellow facilitators of learning. Mm -hmm. How do you like that for a teacher word, right? There you go. Yep. Um, I don't know. We, we've, been in, we've inspired each other. We've collaborated with each other, and we want to inspire others. So what we've done with each other, we want to pass that on. Yeah. So this one right here has been teaching for since the dinosaurs were around yes, yes. not that long for not sure long. starting my 29th year 29th 29th year yep. um this is my fourth official year of mm -hmm. teaching i did a little bit of teaching mm -hmm. in korea um, my husband is in the military getting ready to retire and so i was over there in korea for a while teaching mm -hmm. a little bit but mostly desert is my first real mm -hmm. teaching experience so i'm kind of a newbie she calls me like a sophomore for teaching. She's way past newbie, but yes. Oh, uh, and this one's a veteran. <laughs> so between the two of us, we have mm -hmm. like new experiences and veteran mm -hmm. experiences for you. Um, still don't think we answered why we're doing this. So why are we doing this? Why are well, we doing a vlog? Well, we, we, there's a long story to this, but uh, we took a trip this summer with nine young women yeah. to California. We'll tell you more about that in a little bit. But as we're spending hours and miles in the bus, we decided, you know what? We need to start a vlog for teachers. And we even came up with a name for it. We did. Inspiration. Education. education. So... I.E. Right? Yeah, and IE could stand for all different kinds of things. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we teach at a private Christian school, so that could um, talk about um, your spiritual health, um, what is your relationship with God, uh, but it also could talk about what are a bunch of different ways in which that looks like. How does being an inspirational teacher, what does that look like? IE, comma. Right. Uh, are you a bunch doing, of ideas. Yeah, and I mean, like, okay, you could throw out some, you know, specialty teacher words like, are you doing active participation well? How are you being inspirational in that, right? Mm -hmm. um, how are you sort of wiping the dashboard clean of your kids when they come into the mm -hmm. classroom so that they can actually learn something and retain mm -hmm. something in your classroom? How do we get out of the way and let the kids own it? So yeah, it's more t uh, student directed and student owned instead of teacher driven. Absolutely. Teacher -owned. So um, I guess that's kind of why we're doing this vlog. Mm -hmm. We want to, our goal is to maybe do one vlog a week um, in which we show <laughs> Yeah, we're crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, we're going to give it a go. Uh, yeah, incidentally, <laughs> um, here we are sitting on the top of the lab table. Um, it is currently Saturday afternoon at... Almost 10 to 2. Oh, yeah. It's 10 to 2 on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Here we are. Um, it was work day today, so parents mm -hmm. come in and they help teachers get their rooms clean and stuff. And, hashtag uh, teacher life. Hashtag teacher life. Um, and so, yeah, we definitely don't look the best. Um, oh, well. Makeup is totally melted away. Hair is definitely not done. Um, <laughs> I got squirreled. Why was I talking about that? I don't know. Because we're going to try and do this once a week and oh, we must be crazy. Yeah, so we're crazy. Um, but we feel like it's important. Mm -hmm. It's not only important for us to re to get out this information to other teachers, but also I think mm -hmm. it helps to hold us accountable. Mm -hmm. What are we doing to be inspirational? Right. Um, but not just on a weekly basis, but on a daily basis so that mm -hmm. there's actually content to give you, yeah. right? Exactly, that's our goal. Um, so um, I'm also not gonna lie, we have a little cheat sheet here to make sure that we know exactly um, what it is that we wanted to talk to you about today in our intro vlog, um, but that's okay. Hey, we're being real. That's right. 
Um, so one of the ways, and Chan already mentioned this, but one of the ways in which we want to show being inspirational um, in our education is in our yearly summer trip in mm -hmm. which we take a group of girls and on a separate trip, a group yep. of boys um, out to California yep. on a, like an interdisciplinary collaborative journey. Expeditionary. Expeditionary trips to California. And actually behind us just happened to be some of the photos that have been taken over the years. I mean, it, and they like go on yeah, and on and this on. This is a collage going all the way back to nine, no, 2006. Okay, so yeah, so actually let's let them know. You've been doing this 15, this is the 15th year, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. That we've been doing this. Um, not we, you have been doing this. And I'm just joining the bus <laughs> last couple of years <laughs> and love it. Yeah. Like, really, there's no better person that I could be learning oh, from. As thank She's you. my mentor teacher, actually, too. So, um, so um, in as we discuss that, um, we wanted to, as our first vlog, this mm -hmm. is, um, we're going to show you some footage of a mm -hmm. very small section of the two weeks in which we took the girls on a, on this summer trip. But it's just one small example of what we've been doing over the years, just using that as a platform for interdisciplinary academics, but so, so much more. Mm -hmm. And that has always been our, in our uh, was always our intent from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the history behind the trip. Oh, well, to keep it short, uh, we, 16 years ago, we, we thought, uh, well, we read um, Log from the sea, sea of Cortez, written by John Steinbeck, and he talks about how there's this amazing experience when you go out to collect organisms and tide pools. His best friend was the marine biologist Ed Ricketts. So they went into the Sea of Cortez in a boat and just hanging out with each other, collecting critters and so on, you, you talk about life, you mm -hmm. talk about your worldview. You, um, you have a very natural relationship where you're breaking bread together. And it's this combination of relationship and academics discovery um, where all sorts of opportunities open up for lifelong learning. And so... And uh, does that ever happen on these trips? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, it does. They're actually life-changing. Abundantly. Um, yeah, well... Yeah, so talk about life changing. There's a number of, and we'll probably talk about it in later blogs, yeah. but there's a number of young women and young men who have gone through these trips whose lives were changed. And, and not just being lifelong learners, but um, and how um, their, their lives, life track was altered in a positive way. So, well, and I think a lot of that is um, because this trip is also faith-based. And so yeah. this one right here, again, I'm learning a lot from her, but um, uh, deeply and richly spiritual mm -hmm. in her knowledge of scripture and of God mm -hmm. and what he has to say about life and how to live it mm -hmm. and how not to live it. And mm -hmm. she is able to dig deep into the lives of the people that go mm -hmm. on these trips and, and, and moves them in life altering mm -hmm. ways. So it's a really a true gift. Um, to be able to be on these trips and to learn from her and to watch the change happen in, in the amazing kiddos right. that we take with us. And then we come back to school and we're able to use that as a starting point to continue to speak life into these kids mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And that's another amazing gift mm -hmm. that we get to have as teachers, which you all mm -hmm. totally are aware of, yeah. is that there are some students that you're able to connect with on a deeper level than mm -hmm. just being their teacher or them being a number. You mm -hmm. actually get to know who they are and um, there's a connection there and yeah. um, it's really rich and rewarding. And I think that's probably the best part about being a teacher, yeah. not just talking about your content, mm -hmm. but about connecting with the kids. I mean, let's be honest, it's, you know, <laughs> can I say this live? It's not about a, the money. Yeah, it's not about the money. It's definitely not about the money. Not at all. Um, it's about the kids. Yeah. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. So this is one way in which we mm -hmm. get to do that. Yep. Um, we love 
we love our kids and we love our content and we would well and we love to learn ourselves and so yes. just passing that on lifelong learners and so this particular california trip that we took mm -hmm. um well every year it's about interdisciplinary studies so like for example mm -hmm. Chan um, is a science teacher. Her probably mm -hmm. your deepest love would be like marine biology mm -hmm. and marine ecology. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and so that is definitely a big part of the trip, and we'll talk about that in later mm -hmm. later vlogs in terms of like what we've done on this particular trip and on previous trips. Um, and then I'm a history teacher, so I'm in the social studies department, and one of my biggest loves would probably be American history, mm -hmm. and so we incorporate that into the summer trip. So it's interdisciplinary, and it's also collaborative, mm -hmm. um, and so it's just getting outside of the classroom and learning. Right, exactly. So, Discovery, inquiry. Yeah. Whatever is in front of you in that moment, that's what you're learning about. Exactly. So um, one of the... We're, so. Lots and lots of vlogs coming up just on this trip alone. And then hopefully we'll mm -hmm. continue this throughout the school year and in the years to come and show you all yep. different kinds of things that we're doing in our classroom and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But just for today's vlog, we want to show you some footage of a portion of the trip where mm -hmm. we took the kids to Yosemite mm -hmm. National Park. Um, and we were at the falls awesome. there, the Yosemite mm -hmm. Falls. Mm -hmm. And I give a quick background on the statistics of the falls in mm -hmm. terms of its placement in um, world geography and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, and as a disclaimer, I was not using a GoPro at that time. I was using like a <laughs> knockoff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hashtag teacher budget. Yeah. Um, I was using like a, a knockoff like GoPro type thing and it was like acting up really bad. And so it like zoomed in. So it's like pretty much recording my nose hairs at that particular moment in time. But you know, hey, whatever. That's okay. Um, and so, but we're okay with not being perfect. Yeah, that, cause that's, that's true life. I think we've said that like three times now. We oh must... yeah. You get it now. <laughs> <laughs> not perfect. Um, so yeah, we're at the falls and it's just this moment, um, where the girls mm -hmm. get to experience mm -hmm. the enormity mm -hmm. of, of, I want to say God's creation, mm -hmm. obviously God's creation, but so much more than that, just of, of living in the moment at that particular yeah. time, living their best life right then. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, best day ever. They it's did like the say, light bulb went on that day. Yeah. It was the best mm -hmm. day ever. Um, what else is on our card? Our little cheat sheet here that we need to talk about. That's it. I oh, we're good. yeah. Let the girls speak for themselves. Yeah, it is we're going to let the girls speak for themselves. As far as what they learned and, yeah. and that kind of thing. So, yay. And now we are almost to our next destination, which is Yosemite Falls. Yosemite Falls is the highest waterfall in America. It's the fifth highest waterfall in the world. It's fed completely by um, snow water. And in the spring, at its peak flow, it spills um, 2,400 gallons per second. Twenty-four. So, two four. As in two four hundred. We're at the lower falls. So gorgeous. the coolest thing I've ever done in my life! 
Oh my gosh, it was so cool. Like you, you get up to the top of the rock and you look up and you see like all this water coming down on you and like the, the energy and like just like the smallest little things like water dripping off the rocks looks so cool. It was super cool. It was awesome. And I'm so thankful I did it with these two girls and with this team because my parents would have never let me do that. <laughs> You know what I just realized? I'm always holding You're always the holding GoPro. So here we go. My there, turn. You, you hold the GoPro. My arm hurts. Um, right. So, you know, we realized something that we started this first vlog for you guys mm -hmm. and I'm watching it and I'm like putting it all together and I'm like, we don't have closure. We need closure. <laughs> uh, right? Good teacher practice. Closure mm -hmm. in your classroom. And we didn't have that. Yeah. So here so we are. So what's our takeaway? Yeah. Days later from our initial mm -hmm. recording and we're like, oh, we need a takeaway. So here's our takeaway for you to encourage you. I mean, this is the whole reason we're doing this, right? It's just yes. inspirational teachers trying to inspire other teachers. So here's your takeaway. Um, I think I'll start with the, what hit me right away. It was a quote from Mary Oliver. And uh, I keep it on my phone and sometimes I look at it. Um, and I have it in a couple other places in my life. Um, but the quote, if you don't already know it, is this. Um, Instructions for living a life. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Be astonished and talk about it. And I think sometimes um, uh, our current culture is like just be into this thing all the yeah, time. Oh yeah. And um, and to teach kids to be to be astonished and then want to talk about it takes relationship. So I think perhaps our takeaway from today is develop relationship with your kids. Mm -hmm. You could have. The, all the bells and whistles in the world in terms of your physical environment um, and not have relationship and your kids won't perform well mm -hmm. and you'll burn out. And you don't, and also that means you don't have to go to Yosemite to have <laughs> meaningful relationships, no, right? You don't have right. to be at a waterfall. Um, but like you listen to one of the students and their name is Carly. It was mm. so amazing. <laughs> you know, she was overwhelmed by mm -hmm. the power of it all. And yet also could pay attention to the little droplets yeah. on the rocks. Right. And that's what we want for our kids is to be able to recognize mm -hmm. the world around them and mm -hmm. be able to live in that moment. Right. And notice as much as they possibly can. Absolutely. And and then that fosters relationship with each other. And um, I don't know. Especially, Talking about it. Especially with high schoolers, you know, at this time in their life where they're really wrestling with life. But what would it be like to do that same thing with the little guys? You know, I, mm. I've seen... I've seen elementary classrooms where the kids are all in these little regimented rows and yeah. they're never given that chance to just have a provocation in front of them and to just have wonder. Um, and so those, the classrooms where I've seen the little guys really have the freedom to just be astonished and to have wonder and ask questions are the ones where the kids and the teachers are thriving. Well, guess what? We have our own campus with little ones in it, so I think we mm -hmm. should make that a future plan. <gasps> I think so. I think you're right. <laughs> totally. Ah, all right. Cool. Okay. So anyway, there oh. there it is. Um, love, love well. Let your kids be loved. And, um, I don't know. Closure. Closure. Live well. Mm -hmm. Be amazed. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Talk about it. All right. Till next time. Till next time.